Yes. I'm teaching you how to be skillful in the market today. The goal for today, I'll, I'll be a seven hour show because it seems unoccupied. Yeah, I am bored. Um, listen, so today, what, what I'm going to be doing today is um, I'm going to be showing you how to, how to fuck up the market, how to catch the best entries on the market. Initially, I'm showing you how to manipulate the market, how to fucking, when to get in or when to get out. How to make the best money in the market, okay? That's what I'm doing today. I'm just logging to my platforms. Got a... Here you go, here you go, we're logging in. Is everybody saying? It's very cool. Um, just logging on the side as well. Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. Um, let's get that. Let's just log in. So we're going to be doing a nice breath on a NASDAQ. I want to give guys an understanding on how actually to, if to, to be able to access your, not sorry, not access. Um, this is a market close today. Does not matter. Market can be closed. We can analyze boss. You don't need an open market to analyze. Come on. That's simple math. I'm, not sure. I'm any 15 year old watching. All right, show us. I'm about to relax. You don't pay me for this. Oh, no, Prince KB. Does it relax? Problem is, I'm in a good mood. So, um, let's go. Let's go, homie. Let's go. See, you sound like you know me. You call me homie. Let's go. Let's go. So, let me just, I just logged into it. Get my chat right. Mm -hmm. Are we logged in here as well? Oh, if we logged in. Oh, okay, let's um, stay on this page. That's the mouse. Okay. It's logging on the third screen. I'm logging into this platform with three different screens. So. Excuse me, I'm taking a bit long. Uh, there we go. Nas, Nas hundred. Nas, Nas, Nas. There you go. He's got Nas hundred in the house. Uh, there you go. It's been, it's been, I just want to log in on all, on all, on all platforms, on all my devices, so I'm able to see different time frames and what I'm talking about, so you guys got to be a bit patient, if you really want to get to understand. Today we're going to speak about NC point, okay? Come, let me watch your cars, if you know what you mean, but you may teach me how to trade. Like you at least the, the knowledge. Isn't the market closed today, brother? Oh, it's not okay. Um so yeah, yeah, I never thought as people from Ottawa can make it until you haven't. God bless you, man. You can make it from anywhere around the world, from the worst conditions. I'm dealing with, with different time frames, so um I can be able to speak from a lot of perspectives. All I want to do is make sure that you guys have access. I'm just saying this up nicely. So that you guys are able to um, have a very good view. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So how it works? Yeah, it's quite simple. Guys. With Nasdaq, you trade Nasdaq with one star. Nasdaq is not complicated. Nasdaq does not need any sort of um, major technical. All you do if you if you just got into the market, it's a new week. Um, oh, turn off comments, sorry. Turn off comments, turn off comments. I'm sorry about that, guys, I forgot. Yes, so it's a new week on NASDAQ. What you need to do is quite simple. All here, you just come, if to, to, you want to have a familiar breakdown of the market, you just you realize, all you have to do is, what's been happening on NASDAQ um, for the past six months? Let's just say six months. I think for the past six months, the market has been trying to recover um, since, obviously, the biggest market uh, crash, which is the our covid that came last year. So ever since then, we've been pushing up. When we pushed, obviously, kept breaking highs and highs. 
So after zooming out on H4, all, all I want to do is just do something quite basic. I just want to highlight the lowest point that I can definitely pick up, which is there, you know? And I say we, our all-time high, as I look at the current price on H4, would be somewhere around that area there. That is our two highest and lowest points. From there, you don't need to do anything major. All you do, all I prefer you to do from there is just to zoom in. Zoom in to see the market a bit better, to see how it's been moving, you know? As you zoom in, obviously, you start seeing things differently. You can only start probably looking at as far as um, the past, probably the past, uh, six, I don't know, four months or something. So I'd want to say, now, from current price, right now, this is March, right? Calculate, you always work with the past six months in terms of your deal with history. History does not give you much. It just gives you a better understanding of what's been happening. And I'll tell you, Nasdaq has been moving the worst way possible ever since our market crashed and happened last year. But however, as indices, we are trying to recover. So I want to highlight probably, I'm going to be analyzing this phase, the phase from last year, November, uh, let's just say November 1st. Yeah, November 1st, which should be around that section there. Um, I'm just going to make my line a bit thick. Uh, yeah, just say, so I put my blue line just like that. Uh, remove that audio update. So I'm going to be analyzing this chart from this area. I'm going to be analyzing the chart from last year, 1st of November or 2nd of November, right? What's been happening ever since? So all I'm going to do is just going to go into the chart. And from the 1st of November, I want to try to pick up the highs and lows. Every single low that it produced, that it produced on four-hour time frame, I'm going to highlight it, which would be this, this low area here. This low area, I'm going to highlight them as I come. So the, the reality of a technical trading or a technical flow is that after every low, there will come a high. After a high, there will come a low. So obviously, highs and lows, this is the first high I see after from here. So this is the first low I pick up from November 2nd. And then from there, I obviously now pick up the next, the very first high point after November 2nd. So from last year, November, we've been having, this is the very first high that came, which came around about the 9th of November after the market pushed quite heavy. This is H4. I'm picking up lows, highs and lows in H4 only. I'm not trying to go as deep in 15 minutes. I'm starting with the higher time frame. So high here, low here, there's another high here, right here. So as you look, technically what happens is that after every high comes a low. After every high comes a low. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor there. After every high comes a low. So what I'm going to do is just try to pick up highs and lows. High, low. There's another high that I pick up there. I'm trying to pick up very simple highs and lows. Look at this. After every high comes a low. After every high, that's one thing about technical, whether the, no matter the time frame. After every high comes a low. So let me see if I can pick up another low or a high. So if you look here, what's crazy is that whenever I spot out a high, automatically I, I take out the low. So I don't have to put another low section there, another uh, um, horizontal or resistant or support for this low because the previous high that I've picked up, that I've highlighted, automatically takes up the high. That's one thing that's amazing about take out training. Look at this. I pick out this high, this, this low is out. This, this low is really highlighted. A lot of a lot of lows and highs, they actually identify each other like that. Because technical history has been proven that history repeats itself. We trade the very same way. That's why it, it can never happen that there's 10 traders who are using 10 different strategies and 10 different trading styles. Reason being is because. Reason being is because we all, if we, if we are profitable traders, that means we're all trading the same understanding. Nobody's a superhero. Uh, they, it's just, if you're profitable. Some people just come in and may, may have luck. Some people, if you're really a trader, then you know how to trade. High to got this, low here. Right? Every single, I'm, I'm going to highlight another high here. Is another high. As I zoom in, you guys can see what I'm talking about there. So technically, what you're always looking for in the market is your highs and lows, no matter the time frame. This is H4, H4. So obviously the market started going up here. Is there is another high here. Uh, take another low right there. See, previous high, next low. Previous high, next low. Previous low, every time, every single previous high has a low. Here's a low. So re support and resistance is quite powerful. It's just all about how you understand it. Um, now, what I've done now, I've tried 
I've picked out highs and lows that I would, that, that I see from November last year November. But look at crazy this is. I did not come work. I didn't work. I didn't come to this part of the graph here, right? I was just working with the uptrend that happened from here to actually here. But automatically, as I actually highlighted the highs and lows here, it also picked out highs and lows on this price here without me having to go and identify them there. That shows that history constantly, con consistently repeats itself, no matter the case. Before you came, before we came, it will be like that even after. So now, I want to work with one phase of the market. I'm going to zoom into a certain part of the graph, and I'm going to show you guys how exactly to kill the chart. Now here, we're talking about entry point mastery. I said today's conversation is initially about how do you master the entry point, right? So I've done my breakdown. I've done my major breakdown from uh, for our time frame. And I'll tell you that all I can tell you is that for the past six months, Nasdaq has been pushing up and trying to recover. It has not been doing that in the best way possible, but I have been buying quite strong. That's one positive move I can tell you right now after me, after I've, paid, I've, I've, I've just done my analysis of the, of the past six months and identified the highs and low. Trading with Nasdaq or trading on Nasdaq, trading on as a technical trader does not need anything complicated. Stop trying to be a hero. Stop putting Fibonacci and unnecessary things in the market. We work purely on a price chart, clean market, and it's easier to make profits like that. So I'll show you guys how actually to go into it and how to be able to kill your short trades. Now, this is what we call a free course that does not need payment. Okay? I hope you guys are paying attention. And always would love, I uh, would, would definitely take uh, a lot of knowledge from what I'm sharing with you guys. Okay? So, I'm going to zoom into any section of the graph and show you guys how simple it is to kill a chart, to kill entropy. So, all you do, you come on bigger time frames. I'm going to work, let me work with which part. I'm going to work with this section. I'll highlight which part of the market I'm going to break down and show you guys if you, if you traded this section, how exactly you should have killed it, right? I'm going to work um, from this. I'm going to work from this part of the market here. You guys can see it. I'm going to break down that point. Um, that point, most probably, till uh, here. So from this high to this low, from this low to the next high. So I want to show you if you traded this phase here on NASDAQ, how simple it was for you to kill it. So what you've done is that on a major time frame, you came and you highlighted on four hours. You came right now. And you highlighted your, your high point, your highs and lows on four hours, right? So the trick now is that when you start going into smaller time frames, like right now, I'm going to move slightly to one hour, right? So when you move to one hour, I'm waiting for the part that I highlighted. This is the part that I highlighted there. See what happens when you move to one hour. Smaller time frames, obviously, which means, um, which means more candlesticks. More candlesticks because of it is a small time frame. So within within four hours, you'll get uh, four H1 candlesticks and unlike the four hour where you only get uh, one candlestick for every four hours. So I wanna break down this market from here to this low that we picked up on H4 to that high that we picked up on H4, right? So before I do anything, just before I do anything, I wanna come in and obviously and pick up highs on lows on one hour. Highs and lows on one hour. So how I'm doing this now, I want to do this with a different color. So I used pink or purple. This is on one hour highs and lows. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna use a different color. So so I don't get confused. So for example, on this high here, I'm just gonna do this. Click on my horizontal. Just hold on. Give me a second. Time to put my uh do that and there we go change color let's work with black let's work with black on this one uh there we go just like that uh slightly thicker just like that so I'm going to highlight my highs and lows on one hour, obviously. Uh, just give me a second. I'm just waiting for... I'm failing to put my horizontal line in my chart. So, 
it's giving me a bit of a problem. Let me use a different line. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, let me just let. Okay, here you go. Okay, I'm just trying to get my horizontal line to actually appear on the chart, and I am failing to do that. I am failing to do that. Um, what I have to do now is make sure I reboot. Let me let me try refresh the screen. <laughs> I'm trying to refresh the screen, guys. Give me a second. Okay, let's go back to H4. My network, my Wi Fi is still fine. Okay, my Wi Fi is still good. Okay, let's try to pick that up again. I am struggling to get that. I don't know what's wrong with my platform. Uh, it seems fine. It really seems fine. So let's change time frames. Uh, it seems there must be something wrong. Just give me a second. Uh, oh, okay. I think it's because I have not logged in. That might be the problem. So, I'm just going to give you a second to try to let me in. Sorry about that, guys. Um, sorry about that. Give me a second to try actually fix that. I think I was not aware that I had not logged in. Let's do this. Yeah, well, are we logged in? Um, sorry guys, having a slight delay of the platform, it is slowing me a bit down. It is slowing me a bit down. It is slowing me a bit down. It is slowing me a bit slightly down. You are highly excited. Let me try to refresh, guys. Let's, am I logged in? Am I logged in? Mm. Uh, trying to refresh that. I was in a way that I'm not logged in. Shit. Uh, don't tell me we lost our analysis. Fuck this. Don't tell me we just lost our analysis. Fucker, we just okay. Anyway, um, so uh, but are you guys picking up a lot? Are you guys picking up a lot? I'm gonna set it up. It's almost up now. It's almost up. How do how do you need to trade? God bless you. Can you remove the fake the and uh leadership, please. What time frame do you use to enter the trades? We are getting there. You need to uh pay attention, guys. Obviously, as I do my breakdown. So. Um, that was four hours. We were currently still talking on four hours, and there was a section that I wanted us to break down. So anyway, um, let me just do this. Yes, I will save the life. Uh, are you willing to get back? Yeah, I am willing to need to get back our analysis back up. Uh, mm, yeah, the same way I'm breaking down last time is how you break down US 30. And, um, and 
as how you break down any other indices, SP 500. Um, yeah, so you break it out the same way I'm doing it right now. Hope you are good, guys. So, um, I wish I can be you one day. God bless me. God bless. Okay, let's 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 get it. let's let's get this thing back up now. Hmm. How do I? How did I place this? Trick, trick, man. Okay. Ah, let's do that. Just give me a sec. Uh, that head, bro. God bless. Okay. JMG technician trying to. Link, put this in the best place possible. So yeah, I actually understand. That. So. Perfect leadership now, do you think? The bucket the bucket head is fine. God bless them who see the life. Yeah, guys, uh, we're getting back onto the chart now. Um, let's do this. Okay, like that. Let's get back into it. Let's go. So, guys, um, I wasn't up there for last time analysis, but it's nothing major. I'm gonna um, reanalyze everything pretty much. So I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do what I was doing. I'm gonna highlight um, the highest point there, pick up the highest point, lowest point, and then I'm just gonna go there. Uh, actually, gonna highlight the highest highs and lows. That I see in H4, I'll just do it again. I'll, I'll be quite fast now because you guys obviously already heard that and why I'm doing this. And I told you, so I'm gonna be quite fast now. And I want us to get back to what we actually were doing. Uh, there's a low here, there's another low, there's another high there. Just need to get back to it. So I'm using blue now for my highs and lows in H4, you guys are away. I'm using blue now, and that is not the original color that I use when I'm logged in. Analyzing like this, when I'm logged in, it updates on all my devices. So guys, now what I've done is that I have pro I've obviously picked up. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to highlight. I'm going to find a, a section that I want to break down, show you guys how to kill entry points. Okay, let's work with um, this part, probably from here. Change the color of this. Uh, to probably read, make it a bit thicker. So yeah, so this is H4. Um, I'm gonna go down to lower time frames, and I wanna break down how for, how how do you kill entry points, right? I'm gonna break down this part from here to both probably there. Is how to get the perfect entry? That's the question of the day. So how do you Make sure that you find the best entries out of this section. I'm gonna break down this part and show you guys how to actually kill entry points. Okay, so obviously you 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 are in H4. Far time frame is giving you a low, for example. If you are moving here, if the market is currently moving, for example, at this zone, right? If the market is moving, uh, uh, I mean, I wanna. If the market is currently moving, probably um, at this zone, at this low area, right? And you're trying to, okay, as you see that it's, it has gone into your lower section, obviously, it's about to push up. And you realize, okay, what is, what is your first skill on how to actually make sure you remain profitable? So actually, let me work with this part because I said I'll, I'll be analyzing from here. So I'm going to be... So I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to work with this part here this low here let's work with this low because i'm analyzing from there so it's quite simple this is for our time frame i'm slightly going to move to one hour time frame so you guys understand what i'm talking about when you get obviously when you move from um from one hour to four hours i mean from four hours to one hour what you want to experience is that you'll you'll see a whole lot more highs and lows than you actually saw on 
for our initiative because one hour has got more candles and more candles means more traveling and more traveling means more highs and lows. More highs and lows means more entry points. That's what happens when you keep going low on entries. See now, the part that I want to break down is this part. It looks a bit bigger on one hour than H4 because why? one hour has got more candlesticks. So once we get into it, I'm going to zoom into this part here. Let's just say on this day and time, you are in the market. Maybe it's a Wednesday or it's a Tuesday, whatever the case may be. And you wanna, you can see the market now from here. I'm analyzing from here. So after the market has come to this low section here, the blue line that this low, you saw it on H4. The market has come here twice, doing something called obviously a double bottom, resisting to go any lower, right? As soon as you see this, you obviously know the market is about to push up to the upside. So all you do is that with, on your one hour, it's quite simple. Just take your horizontal line, um, you pick up the very first, so where could possibly, where could we possibly take our first buy on one hour? You're trying to make money from this low to that high. You don't want to make, you don't want to trade the market for too long. You don't want to be holding for two weeks or three days. You just want to kill it today and then eat, relax, you know? How do you make your money in like nicely, eat healthy and leave? It's quite simple. After picking up this low, what you wait for is for the market to give you the very first entry point after its major resistance. So once you see this, you realize, like, okay, the market now is definitely resisting. And when it resists, obviously it's about to give you direction. And in this case, it's about to give you an upside direction. All you have to do, don't try to be a hero. There's nothing, leave unnecessary information in the market. I'm breaking the market. I'm giving you, this is how you master your entry point, right? You might not understand your property, but I hope you pick up as much as you can. Obviously we are working through technology. So um, I'm not with you face to face, but I will be as can you hear me, right? So from this low, all you do is, is either you take your very first entry point and buying here at this point would be a nice trade to take, but however, it is a bit risky because you find that the market keeps coming back here a few times and your account, if you cannot hold it, it might blow it. But in any case, I, I take the buy here. I'll definitely take the buy here. Take it a bit light. Don't go too hard. Don't kill your, your account and allow it to give you space to breathe. Once it gives you enough margin, the next entry point, then you can take more trades. So it's simple. Once you see the market resistance like this, you know the market is going up. Obviously, it has proven it's, it's resistance on four hour and one hour as well. So you try pick up, highlight the next high area. Highlighting the next high area would be this one. So if the market had to move up from here, when it moves from here, the next direction is up. Obviously, it has to push up and break its previous high. Previous high. Hold on. Oh, shit. I just lost that. Okay. Previous high would then be this section. Right, this high obviously was given after the market was consolidating in one place for quite a while. So when it breaks here, obviously it is quite certain the market after pushing up it will definitely come back into here. Another trick that that you guys don't know yet is that this is one hour on a smaller, smaller time frame. This movement here, there's also entry points from here to here. There is entries just on a smaller time frame, like now. We saw in H4, there was only how many time frames? I mean, how many entry points H4? It's all the blue lines. So it would be one, two, three, four. We only saw four buys on, on an H4, and then it gave us our take profit area, which was the highest point. So let's see now, by going lower to lower time frames in this area, is it easy for us to pick up more entries? So if the market on this day and time was moving at this point, that can one hour give us any more entries? Yes, it does. It pushed up, it came back. Obviously, sorry, just do that. Just want to uh, move this up. Yeah, I put this right on top of that high. You can see the market came back to resist in that section there. When it hits that, obviously, as soon as you do that, you just put your line there. The market is giving you a new low. After after a high, the market will give you a low. After a low, the market will give you a high. So your buy here, your buy from here, 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 or from your triple bottom in one hour is definitely in good profit when it pushes here. Right? It's your choice whether you're going to hold or close or, or, or you're going to hold or wait for the next entry point and add. Or you're gonna hold, or you're gonna hold, uh, close in, and then take the next entry with more profits. It's all up to you. From this low here, you just enter more trades. The market pushes up. After every high is a low. I already told you guys that, that after every high point is a low area. If you want, all you have to do is just go in nicely and highlight it for yourself, just like that. If you feel like it's a bit complicated, after every high is a low. The next entry point will be on your previous high. And remember here, we're dealing with one hour. This is obviously trades that entry points that take you quite a while to actually, a few hours to actually get the next entry point. So imagine as you get deeper and deeper into our entry points and lower, I'll show you guys how to actually kill the entries within time, how to make money fast, right? After this low, the, you take, after this low, you take more buys, 
the market what what it pushes up after pushing up just highlight you just how you just obviously highlight your, your high point or you can highlight the yeah, highlight it nicely there there I like to have point nicely just like that. So what you're dealing with is that the market always one thing about the market is that the market always comes back. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to remove that. The market always comes back. So guys, guys, the market always comes back to its previous high. If it's going down, then you go to go back to its previous low. After this, you took a buy, the market pushed up. Look at the tricky part now. When the market pushes up, you definitely need profit now. This is your third, third or fourth entry point now, right? It spikes down, taking care of your fundamentals, spikes down. What well, those we call a stop loss hunt. They tend to kick you out or actually blow your account because obviously they they can tell the consistency of the rise. If you're a good trader, you know that this will never affect you because it does not even go anyway. Once it shoots down like this, you should never be scared. This is the part where you add more trades right here. So right, right about this section, Ah, uh, why are they disturbing us? Why join for free? Join the community? Hi, man. I don't want to join no community. Oh, uh, okay. Give us a second, guys. Let me deal with this. Um, just do this. Let's do that. Stay on this page. I hope we didn't interrupt our analysis, guys. Uh, okay. What another interruption. Another fucking interruption. Another one. These people, they don't like us, man. Why they... Why are they interrupting us like this? Why, guys? I'll leave this page with me. Charles. I was signed in. Okay. Uh, I'll be as good. Uh, why is what Google? Why is bro? Press X. Click X, Satan, oh, Kewulu, Satan Kewulu, what? It's really just working out there to miss our day, honestly, good day. Sign in, King. I, I keep signing in, it, it fucking kicks me out. I'm signing in. Kick me out again, you motherfucker, yeah, bro. I sign in, you kick me out. You sign in, you kick me out. Why, man? I Okay, let's go. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, they see you empowering more mil more young mil exactly. Satan, or a tree of you, use MT4. Uh, um, MT4, the what little ones are there? I think you almost, but I think you almost done. The devil is a liar, but I think you almost done. Yeah, okay. Please put this video on your on, on your YouTube. But on your YouTube, brother, leadership boy. Now I understand the pullbacks, cause because recently the market was pushing nicely, but it's had so many pullbacks. Definitely, he said that no be I don't want to be there. So next thing is about to, is all about price action. Definitely. So, guys, um. I'm struggling to sign in because I think my password is a problem. I'll have to fix that. I'll have to fix that once I'm off the live. Obviously, I'll be able to. I think I've, I changed the password on one of my devices. So, well, it could be my other phone, laptop, tablet, or actually my desktop. So, uh, uh, but however, you guys understand what I'm trying to actually say to you guys, right? So, um, obviously, since I'm having a, pro a problem with my platform, what I am going to do um, is that... So hold on a sec. What I am going to do, um, I will take a video. I will screen record all video. I will take the video after I've signed in and log in and then post the video on my wall, okay? 
So that's a promise. That video, I will, I will definitely take the video uh, and post the video. Uh, you saw my, I saw your bank account balance thirty six million. That's nothing, man. You see, so um, I will share. I will share the video on my wall. I'll put the video out the latest by tomorrow. I'll get the video. You guys can take that video, save the video, and it will allow you to actually learn. Better. So if you want to save the video, you guys must go download one of these um, state like status download or like this Instagram post downloading apps. So you can be able to download the video and then obviously keep it on your phone. Okay, so for days where you don't even have enough data, you can just come and keep watching over and over again. Okay, so um, um, I wish I could give you guys a bit more insights. I wish I could give you guys a bit, but I'm gonna set up my 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 things properly remember that I just got the office. We just recently set up the office. Um so there's still a few things that are still in, not in place yet. So um I hope you guys really had a great time. Favorite someone T T uh Triple T M. Can we speak about that another another time? We're talking money right now, okay? Thank you very much. Uh okay, so I hope you guys are good. The show us your bank balance. I don't I don't have money, bro. I don't have money. So um Please replace my DM after this live. I uh, definitely will. So, um, so uh, that's pretty much I'm gonna say, guys. Uh, I gotta go. I wanna prepare for my night as well and fix a few things that you did so guys, but actually that you did see. We did have slight glitches here on our platform, but I know you all understood me. And um, our next market breakdown, I'll be going deeper on how to kill that sniper. Remember. I was moving from H4 to one hour, right? From H4 to one hour. Oh, great job, bro. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thanks a lot. That's one of my brothers. Thanks from all the way from the US, guys. Um, thanks a lot, Gary. Appreciate it uh, coming from you. Definitely do. So um, the next break, market break that we're going to have, guys, we're going to go deeper. Remember, I went from H4 to one hour. And I think you guys are, you guys are starting to understand exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to move down all the way to one minute. And I'm going to show you, I'll be getting deeper and deeper and showing you exactly how to fucking kill it. Like how to fuck it up from the first second, you know? So to one minute, how to actually be able to utilize the market um, however you can. If you want to make your money now, you make your money now. You know, um, nice spaceship. Thanks, brother. That's something that doesn't have more accuracy. High is it low? It's it's supporting resistance. The market moves like that. It's the nature of the market, you know. Um, it's the nature of the market to actually move the thing. It's it's high is it low? It's how it's, it's it's been moving like that before I was born. Before the people that did it before me, one love the ship God bless. So um, yeah, my bank balance is something we should focus on. Focus rather on having something similar, you know, so uh, we can relate in terms of bank balances. So I hope you guys uh, do you use trend lines, no, I don't use trend lines on NASDAQ. I don't do those things, you know. Um, I'll, we're going to get deeper, actually. I'll show you guys, even whenever I do use trend lines, I'll show you guys how exactly. We're going to speak about our, our breakdowns. Our sessions are going to be amazing. We're going to speak about channels. A whole lot of things. I'm gonna show you how to exactly to use your tools, you know. Um, so be patient with me. I'm taking my special time to do this. I'm not paid for this. I do it out of heart, so I hope you guys really understand. Um, lost little while explaining what. When will the video be up? So, but it, the, the video should be up to work. God, post the video. I'll also share my uh, mentors are here. Yes, your mentors are also here to learn. They're here for free classes. I'll share the link. You guys actually take the link and make great use of it, man. Um, when I open the next market breakdown, I will share it tomorrow. After I've done the video for you guys, follow the audio of the video, and then you guys will definitely, um, once you use that, then we'll do something to do it. Um, as time rolls, now that I've finished setting up, setting up my, I'm almost done setting up my office, I think towards the end of the week or next week, I will be giving a whole lot of different content in the, in the Telegram channel. You know, just signals a whole lot of things that I'll be sharing with you guys, like, you know, more, inf more information, more charts, you know, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things. Uh, yes, the system is still available. 
I actually, uh, I think this week, we were just refreshing it a bit, but the system is definitely available, the face system. It has not been, we haven't been selling it or haven't been moving for about two or three weeks now, but the system is back up and running. The system is, is available, you guys do want that as well. Uh, obviously, it's always best to have the both of the best of both fields. Hope you guys are good though. Um, let me love and leave y'all. I wanna go start my night. I haven't eaten. I need to eat. I haven't eaten. I'm feeling very like my body's quite disturbed. So I'll, I'll go bounce, guys. Training camp. We'll speak about that right now. So I want to enjoy some time to myself and smash a few goals. I've got a very goal, a short term goal. I need to do within the next two weeks. A very short term goal. So I won't say anything about it, but you guys want to see results. Uh, man of results. I speak on my word. I put my mind where my mouth is. You know, so that's just how you guys want to see results. The goal that I've got, I'm taking it tonight. You know, the goal that I've got, I'm taking it tonight. The goal that, yeah. The goal that I've got, I'm taking it tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. So, um, hope you guys are actually quite good, guys. I'm gonna be out. Love and appreciate y'all. Love and appreciate y'all. From your boy, leadership. Peace. From my office to your house or to your room or to your apartment. It is what it is.